This is one of the most magnificent outcomes of any particular study I've seen for a long time. What we were referring to is Bifobacterium longum BB68S. The strain is important. Now, in reference to this particular chart, I want you to keep in mind, this particular study was done in healthy older adults with no, and I will repeat, no cognitive impairment. So what that means when you look at this 18.89 point improvement in what's called repeatable battery for the assessment of neurological, uh, neuropsychological status, it's incredible. So what you're doing is you're taking individuals from broad range or spectrum of different educational backgrounds. You're taking their already non-impaired cognitive working ability and you're enhancing it. So this really truly is human enhancement on the simplest, easiest uh, platform that's possible. And what Bifidobacterium longum BB68S may actually do is watch it actually what it did in the study is it elevated or helped assist elevating some very positive beneficial bacterium to cognitive for cognitive function and decreased others which are not so good for cognition. So it played such a huge role as a supervisor and engineer towards enhancement of things along, well, let's just pull it up. That's the number two. Enhancement of immediate memory. Enhancement of visual spatial cues. Enhancement, not so much in language, because you see this confidence interval there, the little bars, and how they overlap, that means not necessarily statistical significance. Enhancement in attention. Now you see that attention score, it's like going off the chart. And people are automatically think, you know, these alarm bells, not alarm bells, I should say light bulbs are going to go off. And then they say, hey, what about for young children? What about young adults? Young children. You know, that's a double positive. And so on and so forth. And again, it's vital that we stick within the range of the outcome of this particular study, which is healthy older adults with no cognitive impairment. So you may be guessing right. And hypothetically, it looks like you may be right or a very strong chance, but it has to be studied in the future. Until then, at least for healthy older adults, oh my gosh. And of course, towards the end, delayed memory, just a, the cherry on the cake. And that's within the four of the five main spectrums. And again, all because language didn't pop up with a p-value because the confidence intervals overlapped, it doesn't mean it may not uh, delve out in future studies. But I want you to keep this in mind too. The delayed memory, the basically these Spatial cues, the you know the attention, and the uh, basically immediate memory were all at p values of 0 0.0001. So we're not just looking at one outcome at a 0 0.0001 of p value, which is an extremely high level of significance. We're talking at a multitude of outcomes, and we're going to look at that in a second as well. But in the meantime, let's get right into the abstract itself. Again, it is Bifidobacterium longum and it's BB68S. And another thing too, just before we delve into this double blind placebo controlled study, is there was no conflict of interest for those which are particular in regard to that, and no industry funding from anybody related to Bifidobacterium longum BB68S at 50 billion colony forming units per serving. It'll only take it once a day for eight weeks. I didn't even cover that part. That was what it was just, but we'll get more into the methodology. This is just one capsule taken in for lunch or dinner at 50 billion colony forming units. It sounds like a lot, but it's really not. Uh, of this particular probiotic for eight weeks to achieve such an incredible human enhancement in cognition or cognitive abilities. Let's get into the abstract as follows. Probiotics can improve cognitive, well, let me get the study first. Probiotic Bifidobacterium longum BB686 improves cognitive function in healthy older adults, a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled study uh, or trial. Please forgive me if I'm talking kind of fast in reference to this. There's a lot of ground to cover. And actually, be honest with you, this is like an exciting, incredibly exciting outcome. So I'm talking excited-wise to proceed. Probiotics can improve cognitive function in patients with neurolo neurological disorders such as Alzheimer's disease, but the effects on cognitive function in healthy older adults without cognitive impairment need further study. The purpose 
of this study was to investigate the effect of Bifidobacterium longum BB68S on cognitive function among healthy older adults without cognitive impairment. I want to repeat that, without cognitive impairment. A randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial was conducted with 60 healthy older adults with cognitive impairment without cognitive impairment, Nah. Um, who were divided into probiotic placebo groups required to consume a sachet of the product BB68S, 5 times 10 to the 10 power, 50 billion, for those that don't want to spread up zeros, uh, or a placebo, uh, once daily for eight weeks. The Montreal Cognitive Assessment was used as an inclusion screening tool to screen elderly participants with healthy cognitive function in our study, and the repeatable battery for the assessment of neuropsychological status, R bands, was used uh, to assess cognitive function in subjects before and after the intervention as an assessment tool. BB68S significantly improved subjects' cognitive function. The total our band score increased by 18.89 points, as you and I both saw, after intervention with a p-value of 0.0001. Especially immediate memory, visuospatial, constructional, attention, and delayed memory domains. BB686 intervention increased the relative abundance, and this is going to be, a, um, how would you say, a practice in humility. So if I mispronounce anything, please forgive me. We're just going to give it a shot anyways. Beneficial bacteria, Lacnospira, Bifidobacterium, Doria, and Psilocyticum, while decreasing those bacteria related to cognitive impairment, such as Calamicella, Parabacteroids, Tisserella, Bilophila, unclassified, thank goodness, see, negative, negative, negative acutus, negative cutes, negative cutis. Uh, Negative Q to sounds cuter. Uh, Epios, uh, as an epilospiscium and porphyromonos, porphyromonos and granula catella. In conclusion, you got the pronunciation down. You are more than welcome to correct I because, again, did my best here, but still, that's what I did. In conclusion, BB686 could improve 686. 68S could improve cognitive function in healthy elderly adults without cognitive impairment, along with having beneficial regulatory effects on the gut microbiota. Talk about gut brain process. The study supports probiotics as a strategy to promote healthy aging and advances in cognitive aging research. So again, this is an incredible thing, but it's taking people from baseline without any cognitive impairment and enhancing them phenomenally. I mean, this could be used as a tool for just across a huge swath of society. Um, I don't want to say issues because we're not talking about problems. We're just talking about people that have good things going and just making it a little better to proceed. Now, here's the catch. What they wanted to do too is they wanted to also look at in regard to the R bands improvement in other probiotics. And they looked at basically lactis uh, and lactobacillus and other things along those lines. And they saw the average improvement of beneficial bacteria as a general rule was four points. Compared to Bifidobacterium longum, BB68S, 18.89. So let's delve into that. In our study, BB68S intervention significantly improved cognitive function by 18.89. You already know the p-value. Compared to that of controls. Among the 12 items, list learning, story memory, figure copy, line rotation, coding, story recall, figure recall of the probiotic group improved significantly. All right. Let's take a break for a second, and what I'm going to show you is the chart. Now, what I did here, if you look at this particular list, this is all of the benefit. If you look at all the p-values that were significant, let's say below 0.05, we're not even listed in the initial introduction to the study. So as you go down in media memory, list learning, story memory, visuospatial constructional, figure copy, uh, line orientation, attention, coding, delayed memory, story recall, and figure recall, that, it, it, remember, you got to grasp this. This is not doing anything weird like sitting in some position or balancing yourself on one leg while staring at the sun at 11 a.m. or whatever it comes down to be. And we're not talking a massive supplement, uh, supplement regime or dietary regime or dietary change. We're talking a simple intervention of a prophylactic, basically, of bifidobacterium longum just once per day with either lunch or dinner. This outcome is an astounding benefit for basically 
is society that chooses to take advantage of such an incredibly easy to utilize tool? To proceed, back to the study. Among five domains, language did not significantly improve. All of the four domains improved significantly in the BB68S. The scores increased as follows. I already read through that. Uh, let's well, read them anyways. Six, three, six points for media memory, 2.0 points for visuospatial construction, 7.19 for attention, 4.2 day for delayed memory, all the p-values, 0. 0.0001. A few of those were read to you off the list. In contrast, another study evaluating the effect of drinking lactic acid bacteria, fermented milk, and memory only observed significant improvement in memory. Only one of that huge list from that basically the, the battery assessment test uh, by four points with no change in total R-band score in other domains. Bifidobacterium longum BB68S significantly improved the cognitive function of healthy elderly people, providing strong evidence for future research and investigation. They got to open this up for all age groups and individuals. I just, I'm just, I just had a pure curiosity. I just can't stand that these studies are so incredible. Uh, some have got lost out of the thousands and thousands published every month. To proceed, methods. Just to repeat, the subject required to consume a sachet of the probiotic, BB686 at 5 times 10 to the 10th power, or a placebo, maltodextrin without probiotics, after lunch or dinner daily for eight weeks. That's really it. That is it. It's just simple. One capsule, eight weeks. Conclusion. Again, I wanted to include the entire element all the way down to the bottom to show you that there was no conflict of interest and no industry funding. To proceed, in conclusion, quoting, our research showed that Bifidobacterium long and BB68S could improve cognitive function and has a beneficial regulatory effect on the gut microbiota of healthy individuals. This study provides some evidence supporting probiotics as an alternative strategy to advance cognitive aging and promote healthy aging. And that is probably the biggest understatement I've seen of any study with such incredible, incredible outcomes. Again, you know, Office, obviously, I realize our, our YouTube channel has like a, not the largest viewership, but it's not necessarily the viewership size that matters as much as the impact score it has on the people that watch. And again, I tried looking for the strain on the open market for the Bifidobacterium logum BB68S. Uh, I didn't see any of that particular strain. Yeah, Bifidobacterium longum, you'll find in a lot of products, but not necessarily that particular strain. So if you find it, feel free to link it, uh, you know, as long as no one's not making any income from it, but to help others, that's perfectly fine. Uh, but otherwise, outside of that, this is really one of the most incredible research outcomes I've seen of anything. You talk about bioengineering, bioenhancement uh, of cognitive function, ability, awareness. Uh, if you were to do this at an individual, uh, basically early on, and maintain that positive balance of gut microbiota that yield this incredible results. You could have your next Einsteins, your Teslas, just being on the, the cusp of being discovered just by that simple, simple enhancement of cognitive function through extremely, extremely friendly and generous, I should say generous, uh, probiotics. I mean, my God, it is just incredible as far as just a simple intervention of the microbiota to yield that. And who knows what else? But again, you have to give gratitude to the researchers. They did a lot of work in basically trying to isolate this certain type of bacteria to see exactly the effect. And then someone had to step in and say, hey, what if we do this for a healthy individual instead of constantly working behind, you know, the ape, so to say, where you're just trying to get people to improve once cognitive damage is done or erosion. What if we just did this to individuals that had no cognitive impairment? Now, a whole venue of possibilities begins to open. So with that, gratitude to the researchers. I know you hear me say it a lot, but you got to really appreciate this. Gratitude to the researchers. I am humbled you watch. And again, let's see where it goes. And I hope you find this information as literally fascinating, literally fascinating as I do. I'll see you all next time. Bye.